Hello again, course leaders. By now, you've had the opportunity to facilitate the Up Your Service course several times. And no doubt you're getting better and more comfortable with each delivery. You've probably reached that point where your focus can be more about engaging with the participant's experience and less about trying to remember what do I do next as you lead the course. At this point, I really want to encourage you to do four things to continue to step up and improve the way you conduct the Up Your Service courses. First, keep bringing new and more relevant information to your participants. Shape each course to reflect the most important perspectives for the people who are in the room with you that day. Always revisit what are we going to cover in class, which service situations, which case studies, which current compliments or complaints should you bring to the class that day to make it highly relevant for the people who are learning with you. Now this may mean that you're bringing in changes in the competitive environment or introducing current company results, new strategies, or fresh customer survey data. It could be recent complaints or compliments. It could also be recent employee feedback. You can also look to the managers of the people who are going to be with you to get additional input and relevant ideas to keep each class you conduct fresh, engaging, and useful. Now don't just focus on the problems. You could also bring success stories into your class. This is a wonderful way to reinforce the work that people are doing and to encourage ongoing positive change in the service culture of your company. Second, I want you to encourage communication about what is being learned in the courses. You see, as a course leader, you're actually a change agent. You're a channel for communication to and from management and frontline service providers. So anytime a good idea or a new insight comes up in one of your courses, take what you hear and bring it back to management directly. Change happens with communication. And clear communication leads to positive and constructive new actions. Third, communicate with other course leaders in your organization. You don't have to do this alone. You can work together to form a strong course leader community. Share your best practices, what really works in course facilitation, and share the new ideas that come up each time you conduct the class. You can work together to make adjustments, to fine tune, to make each and every course delivery most effective. And finally, number four, talk to us. Tell us at Up Your Service what you're doing, what you're learning, what works, what innovative new ideas you have. And let us know whatever we can do to help make you more successful. I really want to thank you for playing this vital and transformational service role in your organization. Everyone here at Up Your Service admires you. We appreciate you. And we look forward to hearing from you soon.